Welcome one more time to Emeka Williams Spiritual Tips. I am Pastor Emeka Williams. And today, we are going to be teaching and learning on another power-packed, potent, and effective spiritual tips on how to break evil so time. Yes. Several people are suffering today as a result of a tie between them and another person. As a soul tie between you and your boyfriend, your ex-husband, your ex-wife, your ex-boyfriend, your ex-girlfriend, as a evil soul tie between you and your late parents. And because you are under that kind of soul tie, you have entered into a bondage that if you do not make effort, it will keep binding you and resisting you from prosperity. It will keep causing one frustration, one setback or the other for your life. And today I am coming out with a spiritual assignment, a remedy and a recipe by which you can easily break any kind of soul tie, satanic soul tie, binding you with any person or personality by using the local cola knot. Simple one cola knot. Hold on, let me get a cola knot. Cola knot. This is the native African cola knot. This one has four sided. It's four sided. One, two, three, and four. And this one has two sides. You can see. One and two. But for this particular assignment, we are going to use a color knot that is two sided. And this particular assignment is no joke. It's a serious spiritual matter. And if you are ready to ride with me on this journey of wisdom, knowledge from the Almighty God for freedom of mankind, inspired by the Holy Spirit, relax. Do not touch that dial. Calm down. Make sure you watch this video from the first second to the last second. Because every of my videos has information from the first second to the last second. Now, if this is your first time of coming in contact with this face, welcome to our channel, our family channel, where everybody is important, where everybody matters. This channel is a channel that God has been using in this age and time to set his people free from the bondage of the wicked ones. And you have to become a bona fide member of this family. How do you do that? By subscribing to my channel. And how do you subscribe to the channel? Look at the right hand side of this video down below. You will see a red subscribe button. Click on it and put on the notification bell to all so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified with immediate effect. Yes. Why so? So that you don't miss out of any information flowing from this stream of knowledge. And let me not forget to tell you that this particular channel is purely about spirituality. In this channel, we use natural ingredients, natural materials to solve man's problem. We give tips, spiritual tips, on how you can use natural materials, natural ingredients to help yourself and solve your problems. Of course, yes, by connecting to their spiritual energies, vibrations, properties, and frequencies for everything God created and 
gave to us here have one spiritual property to benefit man or the other. So we utilize the spiritual benefit of everything God has given to nature, processing them back to God, and God in return giving us back blessings. That's what we do here. And as you have stumbled into or onto this channel, may the good Lord bless you through this channel in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And to my returning viewers, my old subscribers, my new subscribers, you guys are wonderful. I give you a normal double thumbs up and I add a hug to it. And I say thank you for being there for me, for being part of this movement to the emancip emancipation of man from the bondage of darkness, using the word of God, natural resources, and the supreme name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. On this channel also, we keep calling people back to the almighty God. Repenting of our sins, abandoning our unrighteous and evil ways, and coming back to God through his only begotten son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whose blood was shed on the cross of Calvary for our redemption. Repent of your sin and come back to him quickly, and he will give you life, and he will give you in abundantly, in abundance. May God bless you. And to him that seated upon the throne above, that is above all things, the uncreated creator, the I am that I am, the Holy One of Israel, the Mighty One of Jacob, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jehovah, may his name be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes. Let me tell us today that God has always known that there is need for separation at one point or the other. When you are tied to a negative influence, that negative influence will always make sure you do not progress as God ordained it for you. Now, the negative influence may not even know that they are container of negativity. Because there are some people that are filled with foul spirits negative spirits, but they don't even know that they are filled with such kind of spirits. And as long as you keep friendship with them, their spirit will continue to counter the right spirit you have in you, and it will keep making things to work zigzagly for you, haphazardly for you. Everyone has an agenda to fulfill on earth a blueprint of what you have come to do on earth, which is called destiny. And your destiny contains every of your activities on earth from the day you were born to the day you will die. Your achievements to be made, your joy, your fulfillments, your failures, your challenges, your downcasting, your uprising, your career, Everything that is supposed to be done on earth by you is all imbibed in what is called your destiny. And if you are unfortunate, you go and get yourself intertwined with a negative kind of people, then that, that destiny, instead of moving at a pace that God wants you to move, it will begin to crawl. I am telling you, if you are unfortunate by the reason of you getting intertwined, interwoven with some negative people, it could cost you your life. It could cost you your prosperity, your glory, your honor, and everything that is good about you. You could lose it because you have a soul tie with somebody. This video is coming as a result of a request. And I promise the precious sister that made the request that I'm going to make a video to that effect as soon as possible. And I know that several people are passing through the same challenge. Let me tell you. There are some wicked people 
you have dated them at one point or the other. And unfortunately, you ended up not marrying them. They will capitalize on that period of dating you and they will say, as long as you do not marry me, you refuse to marry me. So long as I have had sex with you and nothing you do that will work, you will never get married. Even if you get married, you will not be able to stay with a man. And before you know it, because there has been a contact, a covenant, there is a soul path between the two of you, that word will take effect on you. And you may begin to see the person many years after you have gotten married, the person will still be appearing in your dream, claiming ownership over you, making things to be tough and hard for your life partner. Let me tell you, I had a similar experience. And this particular spiritual tips I'm giving you today was what I used in order to settle that matter. I dated a particular sister for complete 10 years. Money refused to come for me to marry her. She refused to let me go. I also was like a mugu, mumu. All the 10 years, money to eat, to feed her, and everything was coming. But the money to go and marry that sister refused to come. Heaven was closed. Until a revelation came that I should go and break soul tie with that sister. If not, that nothing will work for me. Then I got the inspiration of this particular uh, uh, potent boy that I want to give you now, free of charge. And I went and bought cola nut. I made prayers with it. Hold on. I am going to teach you how to do that. And if you do it earnestly with prayers, the nonsense so tight that that man is using to uh, lay claim of it, we break. Some are under demonic soul tie with their mother. Maybe the mother has gone to get herself initiated in one kingdom of darkness. And the woman will not go, or the father will not go and deposit you, your name in that kingdom. That after me, this one will take over. And they will bind your soul with her, with their evil forces. And it will begin to affect your life here on earth. An innocent person like you, you'll be struggling and struggling. Things will be working up hazardly everywhere. When they summon you in their kingdom, in the realm, you will appear because there is a soul tie. So this particular recipe is not for breaking soul tie between you and your boyfriend, ex-boyfriend, uh, uh, or friends. It goes as far as breaking soul tie with any parent that has uh, uh, involved you in any ungodly uh, uh, covenant. Yes. Does God ask for separation? Let us go to the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 13, from verse 1 to 2. I will read it from the Bible. Hold on. Let me get the Bible. Acts of Apostles, chapter 13, from verse 1 to 2. And it says, Now there were in a church that was at Antioch, certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simeon that was called Niger, and Lucius of Cyrene and Menin, which had been brought up with Herod the Tetrarch and Saul. Verse 2. As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, Separate me, Paul, separate me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work whereunto I have called them. Separate me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work whereunto I have called them. There is a calling for Saul, which later became Paul, the apostle. 
and there is a calling for Barnabas, these two men are men of different destinies with different calling, but they were together. But God seen if these men remain together in the work I've called them, one of them will not make headway. Therefore, God said, separate them. Let this one go his own way and the other one go his own way so that individually and separately they can go and fulfill their divine mandates. Hallelujah. So, whosoever that God has not bound you together with, that has bound you together with themselves spiritually by any means, this recipe, this spiritual tip, this spiritual uh, 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 remedy is for such covenant or bond to be broken. Now you have seen that from the Bible perspective, God commands separation in order to help you or in me to achieve that which we are ought to achieve. There are some people, if you continue to stay with them, if you continue to be friends with them, you can never prosper. Do not bring in sentiments in this matter. That particular friend that you think you cannot do without, because by one means or the other, you have become so close. You feel you've come a very long way with that person. And you can't separate Unknown to you, the energies around that person might be what is causing you not to prosper. I can tell you, immediately I did that course, that uh, 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 so tight breaking assignment. The lady walked up to me and told me that God said she's not my wife, that she won't marry me. And I can tell you, immediately she left me. Boo! My heaven opened and God began to bless me and God settled me. That's true. So, now, we are going to use the natural remedy, natural material, natural ingredient that God created and give spiritual power. Kola not. This thing I am holding here in the African culture where I come from is not a seed to be joked with. It's a powerful seed. In fact, in most African nations, no occasion, no traditional cultural location is complete without cola not. You want to do marriage ceremony, cola not must be presented first. A child is born and they are trying to christen the child traditionally. Cola not is involved. A visitor comes to your house to show the gesture that you welcome them, what you present to them first is kola not. From the setting of the Igbo land where I come from. And when kola not is presented, there is always a saying that whosoever that brings kola not brings life. It's a seed and plant of life. Prosperity, progress, peace, and harmony. The traditionalists will always, when they break cola nut, they will call their ancestors to come and eat cola nut. When they break it. Me, I don't call any ancestor to come and eat cola nut. Though. The ancestor I call to come and eat cola nut is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. I am not disputing that our ancestors are there. But I am not a worshiper of my ancestors. I am a worshiper of the only true God. The God Almighty, who created the heavens and the earth. Yes. Ancestors must be acknowledged. After all, we acknowledge the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob are also ancestors. But nobody worships them or gives them color. <laughs> that is my own understanding. By the word of God, which is the Bible that I read. I am not saying that those people that are acknowledging those ancestors who that you are, you are doing wrong things, so, uh -oh. but I'm saying as a believer, and to my fellow believers out there, God bless you. So, we are going to use Kola Not. The Igbos, 
of which I am one of them, our founding fathers has a relationship with the Kulanot as the fruit and the seed of life. There is a history behind that. I am not going into that now, but I can tell you how powerful, how potent Kulanot is. And don't forget that God is the God of agreement. And God gave Adam, which is man, the authority to name everything he has created. And whatever Adam named them, that is what they have become till today. Don't worry, I am still going to do a video specifically on cola nuts. I will tell you the spiritual benefits and the physical benefits, the health benefits of cola nuts too. You know, it contains nicotine also. So, now, you are going to look for cola nuts that is two-sided. Two-sided cola nuts. This native cola nut has some of five sides. There are some that are five-sided. Some are three-sided. Some are four-sided. You know? And some are two-sided. And each one with each number has a particular kind of assignment you can use it to do. Don't worry. I am going to do a video on how you can use the four-sided cola note to break a course also. Yes. So, today we are using this to break every kind of soul tie. And now, it's not going to take long now before I conclude. But before I conclude, let me advertise small. Yes. This your brother, Pastor Emeka Williams, have spiritual products that are personally handmade by me. We have cost breaking soap and road opening soap, back to sender soap, anti witchcraft soap, hand me not soap, favor soap, love and attraction soap. Yes, we have the cream version of it, we have the oil version of all these soaps. And we have the Apple above Plus, the potent spiritual powder that detoxifies your body of every evil deposit. Like it's moving here, it's moving all those nonsense objects. They have stuck into your body system through the dream by giving you food, by giving you having sexual contact with you in the dream. Many of you out there are still having sex in the dream. The enemies are using it to pollute your body. Some sickness is not medical. It's sickness that has been planted by the enemies, either by invocation, the blood, oof, or by feeding you in the dream, or by having sex with you in the dream. That is why somebody will be sick, and he will go to the hospital, and the hospital will tell you nothing is wrong with you, you are perfectly okay, yet you are dying. You know you are sick, You are your health is derailing. Because why? It's spiritually infused into your system. So, God gave me the grace to bring this spiritual detox. Just make use of it. Everything will be flush out. You, can, you vomit it out. You go to the toilet, you defecate some. Some will live through the breath of your mouth. Some will go out of sweat. People that have tested this particular product as I am speaking, you can hear me. They are all over places. They can attest to this. So my products are no jokes. All you need to do is get in contact with me. Chat me up on WhatsApp. Or you can call me on WhatsApp. We ship to any part of the country, any part, every part of the world. At the snap of the finger, DHL, Bring it to your doorstep or FedEx. And if there are some situations you've been, cha been challenged with, I've been trying to solve it yourself. And it seems your energy is not high enough to settle, to solve. Contact me. Let us discuss on how I will come in to help you. But don't forget that nothing is free, even in free town. So when you are coming to consult me to take up a spiritual assignment, know that it's going to cost you some little amount of money. 
This one is not prayer. This one is spiritual work. Prayer is free. Spiritual tips are free. God bless you. And my phone number is plus 234-813-134-3627. Please, I don't have any other phone number except this one that I have called now. If anybody chats you up and tell you he's Emeka Williams and he's giving you any phone number, it's a lie. It's fraud. God bless you as we continue. Now, how do you do this? Get your cola nut. Bless it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And tell God, God, I am using this cola nut as a token. You know what? The Bible said that the uttermost part of the earth are afraid of the tokens of the Lord. Father, I use this cola nut as a token of separation between me and every kind of negative man, woman, energy. Every soul tie that bound me to anybody. Evil soul tie. Whether the person be living or dead. God, as I break this colonel, separating the colonel into two. God, I separate myself from that colonel, that, that evil uh, uh, soul tie. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because I am in Christ Jesus now, I am a new creature. And the Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And Galatians chapter 3 verse 13 says that Christ has redeemed us from every causes of the law, being made a cause for us. For it is written, cause is anyone that hangeth on the tree. By the reason of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Hanging on the tree for my sake. God, as I break this cola knot, I break out of every satanic soul tie. I separate myself in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You open that cola knot. As you open the cola knot, you take one of it representing the partner that you are in that soul tie with. One part of that cola knot. You take it and go very far away from your place of residence. Go and throw that one away. And the one that is remaining, you keep it in your house while going to throw the other one away. When you come back, you chew it. It's edible. Chew it, drink water, and say, God, as I chew this cola not and drink water. I recover myself and I retrieve, I recover everything I have lost through that ungodly soul time. Today, by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I seal my freedom in the name of Jesus Christ. That settles it. And you will see God in action. God in nature. There is one a YouTube content creator that is also in the niche that I am practicing, that I am giving tips on. Her name is uh, Gloria Chizzy O. And in, in the bracket, there is a right, right of she media, I see God in nature. God is in nature, whether you believe it or not, whether you like it or not, God is in nature. So, I will be bringing this video to an end at this juncture. Please don't forget, like my videos, share my videos, give me thumbs up. I need it to encourage me. And you never can say when you are saving a soul by sharing these particular videos. Then we meet again in my next video. Don't forget to write your comment at the comment section down below. God bless you.